lost it, Craig. It was seesawing of this in that last quarter. Yeah, like the weight of numbers inside 50 were huge. Um, you know, their contested possession and their ability to get the ball forward really, uh, really was a cost in the end, uh, particularly in the second and third quarters. We, um, we sort of got stuck in our back 50 a bit more than we wanted to. Um, yeah, through, through losing contests. Not so much clearance, but just being outnumbered around the ball. Um, you obviously hit the lead late and you so, have been so good in those situations the last few minutes. What, what was the difference there? Did you, did you yeah, I just said to the players, like, we just love that when you put that jumper on, you play right to the end. And you know, anyone that's watched us the last couple of years knows we're coming. Um, but you still got to do all that all the time. So we're, we're, we're really proud of that part of our, our culture or the, you know, the way that we want to play. And um, we want to continue to celebrate that. But we don't want to be in these positions. You know, like, like, how many times do you want to put yourself in a position where you're going to have to do this miraculous comeback? Um, so they're the things we'll wrestle with. You know, grow, grow with that part of our game, you know, why we're in this position, and, and also celebrate the other part. Of it. it felt uh, quite frantic, sort of late on. Was that, um, do you think that was just because of the fatigue, or it just sort of felt like whichever team could settle and yeah. go forward with a bit of method that they were probably going to score? Well, we were hoping the game was going to be like, like that from the start. Yeah, we, we, we scouted the Gold Coast and you know, how that game was played. I got huge respect for Dimmer. And, um, yeah, they're a maturing team. Like, I, I just thought they did so many things that they hadn't been doing in you know, previous seasons around you know, just doing the right things at the right time and the way they, you know, they just looked really well drilled. And um, yeah, they imposed that on us tonight. What do you take from that going going forward, mate? After you know you don't want to put yourselves in that position again. What do you, what do you want to learn? From? Well, we lived in it for the last two and a half years. Yeah, you know, some circumstances are a bit different to this one, but um, but it's a bit of a pattern in the last couple of games. You know, being such a big margin at three quarter time, um, a lot of us. It's pretty obvious. Like you just you look at the intent in the last quarter and the and the and the pressure and those things are really obvious. So then why aren't we? Delivering that in the second quarter, so that you know, I, yeah, you wrestle with this stuff. I know it's only the paint's still wet on this game, and you, I've yet to see any replay in there, but that's the emotion at the minute. Yeah. Bo McCreary seemed to come off with a, a leg injury. Can you give us any more insight into how he is? Yeah, Bo's um, got some form of strained calf, so um, I'm not sure if it's a kick or a strain, but we'll work through that. It, you think he's unlikely? You've seen a few guys coming back in tonight. What did you make of? And yeah. And oh, look, it's we've had pieces of our jigsaw puzzle playing in different parts, and sort of, have you ever done a jigsaw puzzle? Those, if the corners don't, yeah, they don't go in the middle. So we've uh, we've been having a few of those going on, and so it's good to have some of our corners back. And then other parts of our jigsaw puzzle couldn't just be what it's normally meant to be. So um, yeah, I think Pendles set us up really well, and I thought Geordie imposed himself on the game. That, that, that last goal was significant, and. Um, yeah, he's a beast of a player, it's hard to tackle. Having those scattered puzzle pieces as you as you put it, how challenging is that as a coach to try to put, you know, the best effort you can on the field each week when you're dealing with that? Yeah, we've had that for probably a better part of six weeks and um, we found ways to, to kick enough goals. We had another ten goal kickers today. Um, funnily enough, to get back in the game we've had to move them around again. You know, how we forward's sort of a bit of a a, a work for us. It's worked before and worked again a little bit tonight and yeah, nicked to other roles and again it's sort of come back to sort of you know, let's get ourselves in positions where we don't have to do these things to be a bit more settled but the flexibility is nice. You sound quite uh, frustrated. Is that just the fact that it's quite raw or the fact that this is sort of bubbling away for a while and sort of no, being repeated? Na natural, natural emotions. What was it, 20 minutes after a game? Um, yeah, none of us love to sit here and, and not get the job done. No, that's not what we're paid to do. Um, for for most, of the, for most of the night, 68 inside 50s is a lot to give up. So we're going to struggle to win any game with that, that amount of ball in opposition half. So, um, yeah, there's a natural emotion of, like, hey, come on, let's get busy. Thank you, guys.